This is Mungo Dark Matter, and welcome to Dark Matters. Today we'll be discussing uh, green technology, and specifically we'll be uh, showing how to install a rain barrel. It's estimated that during the spring and summer months, people use up to 40% of the, their water consumption on their lawn and plants and, and watering things. So having a rain barrel means that you can water some things and reduce your water bill, first of all. Also, it means you have reserved water for when there's a drought or water restrictions. All right, today on uh, Dark Manors, we're going to be installing a, um, a rain barrel. <clears throat> and so, right here, if you see, I've, I've, I've chosen the location for it right on around the side of the house next to where the water spout is so that they're they're um, close together so that I can uh, connect the diverter system which will go up here on the downspout so laid out four blocks here um, kind of measure out the the uh, area that I'm going to have to um, dig out and level off uh, for a platform. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to dig a, a, a hole a few inches deep around the area where these blocks are and out some because I'm going to need to put a few more blocks down and put some gravel in it to level it off. You gotta make sure when you put, put a base for a uh, rain barrel that it's a level because it gets very heavy. It can be a few hundred pounds when it's uh, totally full and you don't want that toppling over on anyone. So you wanna make sure it's in a, a nice level area that it, it can't tip over. So the base is really a critical area for getting set up on it. All right. You can see here I've dug out maybe about three inches deep. That's what was recommended. Uh, you may want to check with your local hardware, depending on the area you're in. You may need to de dig a little deeper. Um, uh, a lot of times when you build like patios, areas that have a deeper frost, you may have to dig a little bit deeper uh, for certain when you lay down certain blocks and such. But three inches was generally recommended here. And so I've dug that hole and I'm gonna fill it with gravel. All right. All right, there's the area. I've just filled up with gravel now. It took uh, two bags. Um, of course, it depends on the size of the platform you have to build on how many bags you'll need and how big the bags are. But most bags of gravel and other um, gardening supplies that you would uh, spread across something will tell you how many bags you need for how much depth like if you want one inch two inch or three inches of gravel it will tell you how much you need uh, for a given area all right I got this fairly level now uh, it's good to take a level and actually see how close you got it to being level um, Try to get it as level as possible, obviously, but nothing's probably perfectly level. Also, the larger the blocks you use, the easier it is, or the larger the blocks you use, the easier it will be to even them up in the end. I picked these particular blocks just because I had some left over in, the, in my backyard, um, so I'm kind of reusing using materials. The other reason is when I measured the base of the water barrel this was the most efficient basically the most efficient size of block to use okay so now I put an extra bracket on the downspout to hold it against the house since we're going to cut down here lower above where this bracket is down here and so that should that should serve to hold the downspout on good and stabilize the whole thing so it's a lot more stable. 
even though we are going to, when we put the um, when we put the diverter in, it actually connects to the downspout, so it should add some stability to it. It's still kind of like a splice, and so we want uh, the downspout to be as stable as possible. Okay, we uh, cut the downspout and put in the rainwater diverter, and uh, we followed the instructions for this particular rain barrel, making sure that the pipe will be be level between the diverter and where it goes into the rain barrel. That way the diverter will divert all the water back down through the main downspout. Over here we had to drill a hole in the rain barrel for um, the diverter hose to come in. See we could, have, we could have drilled the hole on either side but we want it on the side that's going to be closest to the downspout. So that's why we had to drill this one hole in here. So now we're going to put in the uh, the fitting. Make sure the fitting um, the fittings in. We, we uh, make sure that it's tight. And then the last thing we're going to have to do on the rain barrel itself is put in this uh, the spigot. Last thing we have to do is put in the spigot. So there we are. We're just supposed to hand tighten it. And that's it. Last thing is to connect the diverter hose onto the uh, downspout diverter and then onto the uh, the rain barrel itself. Um, and we need to cut some slack off of that uh, so that it doesn't uh, droop down like that. Okay, we cut off about a foot of um, so that it stays more level. Um, the last thing to really be done is to attach to this bracket on the bottom of the downspout. Remember, if we put a bracket up here to hold the downspout in place. So it's pretty secure right now without that bracket, but that bracket will make it even more secure. But for now, I'm going to leave that bracket undone until I test the rain barrel, because on this particular setup, it will make it easier for me to take this apart in case I need to make an adjustment after it rains but it looks like everything's good we just need to do an actual test of it raining see how it goes in the rain barrel make sure that the diverter doesn't leak we may actually have to take part again and put caulk in there uh, that would be an optional step some people would go ahead and do that first hand I want to see how well it works without it Okay, and one final thing is, of course, to put the uh, lid on the uh, rain barrel and secure it properly. That snaps on there, and that way uh, nothing can get into it. Uh, it'd be hazardous leaving that much water open. So that's pretty much the installation right there. Got the rain barrel in. Townspot's still working. And uh, we'll see how it works.